This is still our first day of having a newborn. 16 hours old. Here's my, my baby update. Feels insanely nice to be able to bend forward. I got my mesh, my beautiful mesh undies here. It's a little bit of like, you know, cramping and pain, but otherwise feeling nice. Gonna get my ice pack, my ice pack on. We just slept for the night and now it's almost 8.30 in the morning. This little star is asleep. Today we get our first bath and all of our testing and like our newborn checkup. I don't, we still haven't seen the pediatrician yet. Which, I mean, I wouldn't expect her to come in the middle of the night. We, I slept better here last night than at our house without the newborn for the last two nights, which is crazy. So, I know it's the first, this is the first time that we've ever had a newborn. And then we went into the night, so like she's still in her I'm sleepy phase. The first 24 hours of sleepiness. So I was like, we're taking advantage of this the best that we can. I love that she was born in the afternoon. And... Um, let's see, let's look at her little chart here. She's already had two poopy diapers, doing doing great there. And then she's had one, two, three, four. Her feeds are awesome. She eats for like 20, 20 minutes to an hour. If she eats on one side, she'll eat for 20 minutes. She just slept from two to seven. So when she woke up, she ate for an hour and She's like back asleep now. She was awake for kind of a little bit looking around, but she'd rather just chill. She loves her hands. I don't know if I said that in the last little video, but in her ultrasound pictures, every single time we saw her, she had her hand right there on her cheek. And so I was like, let me swaddle her with her hands up and she loves it. And she just holds her little face all night long. I got some Tylenol close to 1 a.m. and then they didn't have to it was like one or two i don't know and then they didn't have to check us after that so they should just let us sleep <laughs> that's what we did i'm waiting now i'm about to get some more tylenol um i feel really good my back is a little bit sore at first she was so reactive to every sound but i noticed last night she would just go right back to sleep same with you when you change her diaper you're like expecting her to freak out i was fully expecting her yeah, it's probably because we just watched a, the video of Charlie and she screamed the whole time, which is normal. And I expect we're going to get there and be more like that. I just think that she's still in her. I was just born. I'm exhausted face. She's a happy little clam. Hmm. We just got off FaceTime with big sisters. And he's like, I just want her to come home. And Charlie's like, Ben, wake up. I want to show you something. <laughs> and the lactation consultant came in just to say hi probably see them again today she's eating really well just a little bit of pain because I don't remember what I'm doing I don't know this just it seems too good for a first night that was just amazing so tonight will probably be horrible we have like the rest of the day now and now I feel like I slept a normal amount I'm like what are we gonna do today and her hair I mean we're excited to wash it today but it's dark <laughs> this cutie Look at this happy little camper. I am, we just snapped some pics and she just been snoozing, a couple wet diapers, but really overall, she doesn't complain much and she's about to get her um, hearing screen, her bilirubin screen, and then a bath in a little bit. Daddy just left to go that get more out. You can go let your puppy out. And I am trying to get her to wake up enough to eat. I also have some lunch here too. But you are much cuter and you need to eat so that you are happy for all your tests. You look sleeping so peacefully now. Hmm. Okay guys, we haven't really updated in a while today. We've just been hanging out. Britain went for her screenings and all that stuff and everything looks really good. She passed her hearing test, all that. And she got her first bath a little while ago. So we got back our clean, fuzzy little duckling. And her hair definitely looks a lot straighter. Now you can kind of see it on the top, the back, which is what Charlie's hair did when it was washed. So 
I don't know, maybe it'll end up straight like Charlie's hair, but it's definitely still dark and brunette. She's still been really, really great. A few little crying moments, but I think they're all hunger or toot related. And she's still just been snoozing. I had a really fight to wake her up earlier so that she would eat something. <laughs> but look at her. Whoops. She is jumpy, but usually her jumps like don't cause her to go into a cry, which I'm not used to in a baby. One thing that if you are packing your bag for the hospital, you're like, what do I need to bring? That I would recommend is bringing an extra bag. I just folded this bag up and packed it for all of the random stuff that they give you. Because our bag was packed pretty full and not just what I wanted to bring, but I knew that we would take things home. So I got this extra bag. I got all the papers that they give us. We can bring home the extra diapers. There's a place for it. So pack an extra little bag. That's my only tip for you. I don't know if it's because it's our third baby or what, but everyone's been leaving us alone and we're just chilling out and they're like, if you need a reminder, let us know. It's officially been 24 hours with baby Britain. Oh no, Brit. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. We are starting to wind down for the day. Just doing some skin to skin here. Britain passed every test and screening she had today. We are probably going to be heading home in the morning to meet big sisters. <laughs> morning after night too with Britain. What? Oh, my belly. I forgot I'm not really wearing a shirt. Last night was not as fun as the first night, which I was expecting, but also it was still frustrating. Trying to get everybody ready for bed last night. It was probably 10.55. I was like, okay, I'll feed her one more time. She was having a little bit, like eating slightly less leading up to that point. And then from that point until about 2.40, could not get her to settle down enough for sleeping. Nick would like get her to fall asleep and then she would be awake the moment you set her down. <laughs> so lots of tears. Didn't know if it was like gas related. We each got some toots out of her or if it was food related because she was having a harder time eating. She wouldn't really stay on. And then it got to the point where it was just hurting really bad because she just come in and go in constantly it wouldn't actually stay and eat and we did that for a long time before i finally was like all right um i'm calling the nurse and i was like i don't know what the problem is but she took her over to the nursery for a little bit and they hung out with her we slept while she was away now she's sleeping happily but she's still not eating a ton she ate she would feed for about five minutes, kind of the same problem. So waiting on the lactation consultant and the nurse to come back in here to ask a few questions. But currently she's a happy little camper again because it's daytime. So she likes the daytime. But you get to go home today, ma'am, and meet your sisters. What do you think of that? And they have the day off school tomorrow to hang out with you. I need to eat about 120 again. Hey, little wolf. So Britain is about to get dressed for her ride home. This is what Emmy picked out for her. This is from your big sister. She wanted you to wear this one home. I know it's a little chilly. And then she also has a dress at home that she wants her to wear. And I told her, I oh, won't put her in a dress for the ride just because it's hard to buckle. So it's just like, okay, we'll change her when she gets here. We're just kind of waiting around. Everyone's checked out. like. We're all cleared to go. We're just waiting on discharge papers, so we're gonna get written as ready as we can so we can head out. I know, dude. Oh, this smells like your room because it's <laughs> all clean and ready and waiting for you. I know. She still loves her hands. She can't be without them for more than a few minutes. Let's get you cozy. Let's get you burped. 
then you can see if you love car seats or hate car seats. I'm hoping that you like them because your sisters and I go back and forth a lot and I think you're going to be joining us. The third kid <laughs> just has to suffer through the activities of the first two. You're just going to have to come along for the ride because you're my buddy now. What you think? You want your bow? One of the things last night I realized is she wasn't wearing a hat and I was like, what if that was that was it? That's what was upsetting her the whole time. That she didn't have a hat on. I honestly thought about that too, but then I, I was like, no, nah, there's no way that the hat's I didn't think about it till this morning when I was like, you know what? I haven't put a hat on her in a while. Because I was packing it up. That'd get you to fall asleep for a little bit. I didn't care about <laughs> Twice I got her to fall asleep, yeah. and then as soon as I'd put her down, she'd be like, mm, eh. That's not it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm chill. She's happy now. She ate. <laughs> We're all packed up now. I just met with the lactation consultant for a while, so I do feel better. My mom was just texting me about Emerson. Big sister is so excited to meet you. She, um, a couple days ago after she was born, she had said, I am... So I think she was praying. She said, thank you for making my dream come true. Baby Britain is here. And my mom said that she just said, I have dreamed this forever and ever. I just can't wait to meet Britain. I am excited for the amenities of home, things that we have there to help us out tonight. Being in our own bed and then also, it's just so funny every single time that, you know, the nurses change, you get new people. Everyone's so great, but you end up having the same conversation over and over again just because you're meeting new people every 12 hours. <laughs> it's like, oh, is this your first, your third? And then you go through your kids, your kids' names. And we always go through all of the hair colors because we're like, yep, we finally got a brunette. It looks like her hair could come back completely blonde when she loses this newborn hair. You never know. I'll film you because this isn't the last baby and I have a video of you putting Emerson in a car seat. So let's see how well remember you remember. Being. We were, we were so nervous. Well, we had we didn't we literally didn't hear you. Just take. Literally, just before she turned on the the camera, I was like, "All right, plop her in here, babe." <laughs> I know we didn't. I don't think we had learned the car seat at that time. So I know, Dad. I don't want that side. Get that. Yeah, side. she's so picky with her arms. I feel like this is gonna be hard every time we try to get her in a car seat. <laughs> I'm a little floppy. We'll get it now, love. Here's our girl. She is all clicked in and ready to go. Oh, she's just sped up again. We're going home. It feels amazing outside because it was icy storm. 50, 50 degrees. 50 degrees. Goodbye, hospital. We will not be in you probably ever again. Not for childbirth. That is wild. Bath and breakfast. That's true. It's also a moving location, so we really won't be in there. That's kind of sad. The building that our girls are born out of is disappearing. <laughs> I know. That's where I think I was born at this hospital right here. Oh my goodness. Let's get you out of the wind, little love. It is windy. And here's a quiet house. Don't get used to this. There's nobody home, but usually it's pretty loud around here. Emmy's got a swing all ready for you over there. Guys, isn't this crazy? We got a baby and she's here and she's home. Oh. You're here! Ooh, that one looks like Amy Rose. There's a Britton Riley. Just a tiny little bean in such a huge bag. Crazy is that? I feel like we should take a tour around and try out all your stuff. What do you think? Or maybe we just do some resting. Okay, we are home and for the sake of like reality of all the things that come along with postpartum and motherhood, I don't know why this happens to me. 
like every time we both times every time that we've come home from the hospital with the baby it's like it feels really good to be home and i'm excited to be home but i instantly feel like i want to cry i think it's because you've been waiting for so long and like prepping for this thing to happen and then you're home and i feel happy but i feel really weird the girls are not home they'll be home in like an hour and we're gonna eat lunch and they're gonna meet britain and i'm like unpacking all of my stuff from the hospital and putting everything away and it just feels like especially because we moved into this house it was like a day after i found out i was pregnant so this house feels like we've been prepping and prepping for the baby to be here and she's here and that's really exciting but for some reason and all the mommy's postpartum hormones hit right at this moment every time i am actually gonna show you to mommy's room where you're gonna be sleeping since I'm gonna unpack the rest of my stuff in here and kinda get adjusted a little bit before your sisters get here. Here is your bassinet, and this is just so wild to me. I'm really excited that we have this halo bassinet. I never had one, and we can scoot this right up next to the bed, and I can see her at eye level, which is what makes me comfortable, but she's still separated, so I can like peep over, you know? And it's pretty much the same as the setup that we had in the hospital. You are the last little baby joining our family, my love. So, mommy's gonna feel all the feels. Mm -hmm.